Oh, well, thank you, Leslie, and good morning, conference, Len McCluskey, moving composite 18, and hereby giving this government due notice of my union's intent to oppose, defy, and using any means necessary, defend the democratic rights and freedoms of all trade unionists and the working people of our nation. It beggars belief. It beggars belief that in 2015 we should have to stand here today in order to defend our movement. A movement that has from its inception delivered for each generation continued improvements to the working lives of millions of ordinary people, secured our nation's wealth and fought for the social and political progress that has made this country a place of fairness, equality and social justice. Instead of recognising our role, this Prime Minister seeks to paint the millions of trade unionists and their families as the enemy within. Tories now drunk on class prejudice intend to destroy this movement as a force in British life. And conference, we are at a crossroad. We can resist, perhaps with the possibility of defeat, or we can capitulate with the certainty of oblivion. The Tories are leaving no stone unturned in their effort to break the influence in the workplace, destroy our political involvement, deplete our funds and make any action we might take ineffective or illegal. They seek to reduce trade unions to no more than employment advice agencies, while turning our members who dare to act into criminals. We need to respond clearly and intelligently because this threat is also an opportunity. David Davis, a Tory who takes freedom seriously, has described parts of this bill as more appropriate to a Franco dictatorship. Amnesty and Liberty have denounced its violations of human rights. Even the Financial Times editorial this morning has come out against it. The possibility, therefore, of a broad and united democratic campaign against this legislation is greater than ever before, because it doesn't just attack trade unions. It threatens freedom of speech. It menaces freedom of association. Values which all British people cherish. That's why, conference, when we debate the issue of strike thresholds, we should move the argument onto our grounds. Instead of quibbling over percentages, let's use the language of democracy and modernisation and say, give us secure secret workplace balloting, end this archaic reliance on postal ballots and turnout will never be a problem again. <laughs> but colleagues, if this government's reckless violation of international legal standards is passed, it raises the thorny question, must we always obey the law? There are those who are reluctant to countenance such a question. But conference, platitudes about the pernicious nature of this bill are simply that, platitudes. Reluctance to question the law is based on the premise that the law is sacrosanct. Let me say, Congress, as we celebrate 100 years of women's suffragettes fighting for votes, thank goodness that they didn't see the law as sacrosanct. And colleagues, and colleagues, had this conference been meeting in the 1960s in the southern states of America, would we have asked our black delegates to sit at the back like Rosa Parks, or would we have defied the law? And if you haven't seen the film The Imitation Game yet, then you should do so. It's about Alan Turing, the man who broke the Enigma Code in World War II. Historians have credited him with saving the lives of 14 million people. He was chemically castrated in 1952, which led to him committing suicide two years later because he was a homosexual a criminal in the eyes of the law.
Our history and that of the world is littered with brave men and women who have defied bad laws and who have fought and, yes, died to give us our heritage. And if that history tells us anything, it's that when one section of society is segregated, asked to identify itself with labels and armbands and submit to a state-sponsored blacklist, the civil liberties of all of us are put at risk. Sisters and brothers, let's find some courage amongst us now. Let's be brave and overcome our doubts and fears. There is power in the union. Let's make sure it stays that way. I move. Thank you.